Hello guys and girls and welcome back to another Thorncraft 4.2 tutorial. So we're almost done with Artifice, only got a tiny little bit left to do. Uh, but today we're going to cover the Arcane Boar. So this is quite an interesting little contraption. It's, it can be quite useful as well. And I'm going to show you all the different things you can do with it because there's some pretty funky things you can do with it that maybe you don't know, uh, maybe you do, maybe you don't. But we'll cover it all today anyway, just to be 100% sure. Uh, so this is your Arcane Boar. Very, quite simple to make, not too terrible. It does take a diamond pickaxe and a diamond shovel and a fair bit of essentia. A couple bits and pieces around a piston. This is not the only bit you need to make there. So that makes your main bore. You also need to make a base. So this is done with a dispenser. It's going to take 10 air and 10 auto uh, vis from your wand. And then it's going to take some iron and some great wood logs. So that's not, that's not the expensive bit to make. This one's a little bit expensive with your diamonds. Uh, but this basically is going to mine things for you and you can kind of customize this how you want. Um, let's have a quick look at the entry in the book here. So you, uh, you have discovered a device capable of extending the range and power of the excavation focus of even greater use is the fact that the machine can also do so without your constant supervision. You merely need to place it on a specifically con a specially constructed base, point it in the right direction with a wand, and apply a redstone signal. The arcane ball requires two things to function. The first is an excavation focus placed in its leftmost inventory slot. Any enchantments applied to the focus will also alter the functions of the ball. Secondly, you need to place any kind of pickaxe in the rightmost slot. The material of the pickaxe will have little effect on the operation of the ball, but the greater its durability, the longer it will last. Like the wand, any enchantments, like the focus, I'm guessing, any enchantments or special abilities of the pickaxe will also be applied to whatever the, the ball mines. Cool. And the arcane ball can only be placed below above or below the arcane ball base. Any items mine will eject from the base direction nozzle pointing. It'll eject into an inventory if possible. This direction can be changed with a wand uh, and you can also power it with Padicio Vis to speed it up a lot. So let's head on down to this little thing that I've got set up down here. Gonna be a little bit dark. but uh Sweet. So I've got two little things mined down here and we're gonna show you how to set this thing up. So you're going to grab your arcane ball and your arcane ball base once you've got this set up. Uh, you want to place your base down either on the top or on the bottom. It's completely up to you. And then you're just going to place your arcane ball on top of that. So as you can see now, this thing is pointing towards us. We don't want that, so we're going to grab our wand and we're going to right click it. And it's going to do a spinny thing for us around like that. Uh, this is the side that we want to put things in. So if we click on this here. Um, let's just quickly grab one more of these and then we can show you the difference as it goes. Uh, also to power this, you're gonna need a redstone um, a redstone signal. So we're gonna grab ourselves a lever here. I was just doing a bit of testing myself down here. Pretty nifty stuff. So what we're gonna do is, that's actually a redstone block. So we'll put the redstone block on the redstone block. Nice. And then if you right click it with, don't right click it with your wand or spin them back around again. Uh, but if you right click it with anything else in your hand, you should be fine. Uh, so if you have a look here, it's going to say width, five, speed, plus zero, other properties, none. And this is where your focus goes. This is where your pickaxe goes. So let's put in a normal pickaxe and a normal one focus. So as you can see, this hasn't changed whatsoever. And at the minute, it's not currently doing anything. So we're going to go like this. And now you can see it's doing things. As you can see, it's spitting out some cobblestone there. Nice, it's spitting out some other things for us as well. And it's gonna go around in a circle like this and it's gonna cut a load of things out. And it's gonna go, it's gonna go quite far. It's gonna go a little bit far at least. So as you can see, it's spitting everything out there. We just go like that, turn that thing back off again. Cool. So we don't want items spitting out all over the place. So what do we do? We can put down, let's do it without a hungry chest for now. And we'll just do it with a normal vanilla chest. Replace this on the back of it like this. Let it carry on like that. It should be putting the items into there. Very, very nice indeed. Cool. So this is a little bit slow. It's not the greatest at the minute. So there's two ways you can speed this up. First way, let's go back onto there. 
uh, is to provide it with Petitio uh, Vis. You can do this in the form of an energized node or you can do it in the form of a sentia. So you can pipe a sentia into this thing. I think you pump it into the ball base and it'll work like that as well, which is pretty, pretty nifty. So we're gonna let this thing energize up. There's one more thing that I do wanna show you. Uh, if you remember when we made the arcane lamps, I did mention that you can attach these to these. Let's just cover this thing up so you can't see it anymore. Oh, you can still see it. Uh, but basically what this is going to allow you to do is light up the tunnel that it digs. So if this digs a tunnel down this way, um, it's going to light that tunnel up for us because we've just put the arcane lamp on the base of the arcane bore. Really, really cool stuff. Let's see if we can place it up there and cover it up a bit better. Oh no, see it lights everything up. It just lights everything up just generally being attached. Cool, so we've got that one running now. So if we turn this one back on, here you'll see it's going to start pulling off little bits and pieces. As you can see, that is going a hell of a lot faster than it was going before. Nice. Now you're probably wondering, can we get it to go even faster? We're going to try. We are going to try. So let's take out our standard one focus. Take out our standard pickaxe as well. And remember, any enchantments you have will carry over. So I've got potency 2 and enlarge and dowsing on this. Uh, poten uh, potency is going to make it go faster, enlarge is going to make it to a bigger area hopefully, and dowsing should be giving us clusters, a chance of giving us clusters, so we're going to pop that in there. Other properties, native clusters, speed plus 2, width is 7, so this is basically not going to mine out a 3x3 three three area at once, but it's now going to go up to a 7x7 seven seven as it digs out here. Uh, if we put in the pickaxe as well, you'll see that we have silk touch, efficiency, and unbreaking on this. So. There you go. It, we've also got efficiency 4 on there. So as you can see, plus, plus 2 on your speed. Put that in, it's going to go up to plus 6. We're also going to get silk touch on this thing. That's probably not going to work too well with native clusters. But look how crazy it goes now. Look at it. It's going absolute bonkers. It's crazy. I love it. It's awesome. Look, and it's doing the whole area for us. Look at it. It's going Going absolutely crazy. It's putting a ton of things in this chest for us. It's still touching the redstone ore, so it's not going to fill our chest up too much for us. And it is going around. It's doing a nice little 7x7 seven seven area. It should be at least. 1, 2, 3, 4. It'll get there. See, it's going over. It's doing it. It's doing it at a very sporadic sort of movement, but it is doing it nonetheless. So this is such a cool, nifty little tool. You can customize it so much. You put your bits and pieces. It is going to take durability off of your thing, but because I've got unbreaking on it, it's going to last that little bit longer, which is a really, really nice feature. But that is the arcane ball. Really, really cool stuff. As you can see, it's kind of getting a bit dark down there. Let's place that on there. Look at it. Now it's all lit up down there. It's beautiful. You can see all the way down there without any problems whatsoever. Take that off. It's going to disappear. It's going to get dark again. Place that on it. It's going to make it nice and light down there for us to be able to see everything that's going on. As you can see, we're hitting a bit of an ore pocket now. So let's have a look in here. Getting an absolute ton of ores. It's still touching everything. Really, really nifty. And we're not doing anything. And this isn't taking power. It's basically a powerless little quarry thing. Dig down to where you want. Put your excavation focus and your pickaxe in. And away it goes for you. It's going to cut out this really, really nice area. Um, but that is pretty much it for the arcane ball. Uh, you can also put it on the bottom of it. So if you wanted to put this in your ceiling, you can do, and it'll do the exact same thing. Just give you a quick show here. As you can see, it's going to do the exact same thing. It's going to look a little bit cooler from the ceiling, though. Let's all be honest about that. It does look really, really rad. But it looks like, no, it's still going, still going. It's lighting everything up down here for us. It looks like it's going to go even further than this. So I'm not exactly sure on the full reach of this, but it is awesome. It is so, so cool. And how are we doing? We've got quite a lot of stuff in there. So I'm going to pop that one off. That one's already off. Uh, but that is it. That's all I'm going to cover on the Arcane Board today. Really, really cool stuff. I think I pretty much covered anything, everything. If you've got any questions, as usual, please leave them down below. Haven't spent that much time up here today. Been down in the mines, man. It's a hard life. Um, but
But yeah, so thank you guys very, very much for watching. I hope you guys have found it useful. Go check the Arcane Boar out. Give it a go for yourself. See what you guys think. It's a pretty nifty little tool. And it's not that expensive. So it's worthwhile having a mess around with. Uh, but as usual guys, thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you guys have yourselves a very fantastic day. Make sure you thumbs up that uh, hit that thumbs up button. Sorry if you like the video. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. And I'll see all your beautiful faces in the next uh, video. Goodbye.